So let me just ask one line answers on best case, worst case with the new administration in Pakistan. Or what is most likely, you think, at the end of the day? Well, the best case scenario would be... Or the know, most likely scenario, whichever you think. Where oh, is this headed? Well, there's, those are two different things. <laughs> the, the best case uh, would be, of course, Pakistan cracking down on the Taliban and, you know, all terrorist groups within its borders, recognizing that it has to take a comprehensive approach, you know, seeking dialogue with India and with Afghanistan, allowing then the U.S. and Pakistan to sort of be on the same page in terms of the future of the region. That would be the best case scenario. Um, worst case scenario would be there's a major attack in the U.S., a terrorist attack that has its origins in Pakistan. Um, that could be a, a major uh, deal killer in terms of the relationship. Uh, most realistic, I think what I spelled out, that you'll continue to see the security assistance decline unless we have um, some changes in Pakistan policy. And I'm not saying things are going to, would change overnight, but if you had arrests of terrorists, if you had cases being brought to prosecution, if you had uh, denial of free movement of the Taliban, uh, if, if you had more, you know, coercive techniques being used in Pakistan to bring the Taliban uh, to the negotiating table, uh, you know, this would be, I think, very helpful for the overall U.S.-Pakistan relationship. Professor Kani, where would we be in a year? Um, most likely scenario, uh, we will have, uh, of course, curbs on uh, uh, immigration from Pakistan. Uh, aid will decline. And uh, there will be some reaction in Pakistan. I hope that it is measured so that it doesn't provoke another reaction cycle here. Worst case, best case, I agree with Lisa. The best case is for Pakistanis to realize that we need to change Pakistan for the better for our own sake, not because America wants us to, but because that's what we need to do. We need to get rid of the jihadis and we need to get on better, get on better with India and all that. But worst case, I agree. And that, by the way, was something that President Obama used to warn us about in his tenure as well, that if there is a major attack on American soil that is traced to Pakistan, then all bets are off. Okay. in a year? Just quickly, um, most likely scenario, I think, is the new administration will have a relook and uh, will tighten up harden up on the issues that Lisa is talking mm -hmm. about, uh, and that, that Pakistan will probably, at least in the short term, pull up its socks, as we say, and uh, be, you know, a, a bit, uh, accelerate plans that it might have to uh, deal with some of these groups. But I also think there's a possibility that if, for example, ISIS crops up in Pakistan more in Afghanistan and the administration uh, does what uh, candidate uh, Trump had suggested, mm -hmm. that you could have, in fact, another period of an increase in, in military assistance to Pakistan. Okay. Thank you. And this question For the of a year, reasons yeah. of and then also if you want to respond to, no. I think uh, if this administration dehyphenates Pakistan from Afghanistan, that will become a more enduring and a positive uh, relationship for Pakistan and the United States. But if you continue to have nuclear, Afghanistan, terrorism, Haqqani, jihadis, the dialogue will continue and we will muddle through.